Hi friends, this is the book that I use for my Lister's Got a List. It is the large Happy Planner size book and I've punched it and have expander discs in the rainbow colors. These are just the plastic ones, but they're a great size. So far I have seven months. So I started January of this year through July of all of my listers got a list. I found these laminated sheets on Etsy. Um, it's just gold, rose gold marble cover. Works great, it's hard, and it holds all my pages in here. So I am going to do, now that it's the first week of August, I am going to do my July walkthrough for my listers got a list so you can see what I did. So I get my lists from the reset girl she has a web page and she also has a reset girl club facebook page that you can share a lot of your creations she just finished up camp wanna craft which was uh, i believe it was six weeks of being creative and forums and chat rooms and cabins and all kinds of stuff i tried my hardest to get a few things done it's a hard time of the year with summer but I always do my lists so I'm going to share with you July in her kits she has these printables these white pages in blocked off into fours and it tells us up here listers got a list summer July you are here the month of July is all about traveling road trips vacations stuff like that. One of the reasons I like to do Lister's Got a List is because it asks me a question a day which sparks my memory or future plans and I can practice writing and doodling. I've never taken classes. I have been a doodler for since grade school, probably first grade. I had this little friend, his name was Jay. He drew this president or this sketch a pen, pencil sketch of president john f kennedy and i was so impressed i remember thinking i want to draw like that when i grow up so i started practicing um drawing and doodling and sketching as early as first grade i'm not the best it's fun it's for me i've told you in the past perfection is not part of art you will never enjoy art if you think you're going to be perfect. There's always mistakes, and that's what makes us unique. So you may potentially see misspelled words. When I write a word out, I think of letter by letter by letter by letter. I don't think of the whole word till after the fact, and it's very common that I miss a letter unintentionally. Somehow, I try to fix it occasionally it depends sometimes I thought I don't care this is who I am this is me this is real world I print out the reset girl stickers um, they're not really stickers or PDF files of different kits that she releases each month and I print them on full sheet white labels that I buy on Amazon and then fussy cut them some of the shapes especially the circles, but several of the shapes I have punches that I punch out. Otherwise, all of these little shapes are fussy cut with my super sharp, close to my heart scissors. These are old, so they don't, I think they're gray now, but they're really fine pointed. They're kind of like the cutter bees. I've used those in the past also, but they're super detailed and you can fussy cut really well with these little scissors. Oh, here's a pair now. The new ones, I like these because they're for sticky and the sticky glues won't stick to the scissor. So these are what some of the newer close to my heart scissors look like. I'm a close to my heart consultant, so I like to use their products also. So this is July. The first 
through the fourth. I like to layer elements and to decorate my pages. And the, this right here is washi tape. I use that on occasion in my sheets. Fifth, sixth, seventh. So I divide them up in four threes so that you get your seven days of the week. So this would be the ending of the first week of July. And see my little doodle flower I'm hiding behind a couple of the printables there. 8, 9, 10, 11. Things I do every summer. I go fishing. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I like to fish. We just bought a fishing boat this year, finally. I like to camp. I like to go on road trips. And when I say road trips, it's usually like mountainous or outdoorsy road trips through the countryside and see nature. I love family reunions. We do that every year. Um, and I love to barbecue and invite friends and family over for barbecues. I love the honeys. Reset Girl honeys are like retro little paper dolls. Cut them out. They remind me of the pattern packets my mom used to buy when she used to sew all of our clothes. Ending sec second week of July here. Now we're into the third week. Favorite songs I know by heart, How He Loves, David Crowder, one of my most all-time favorite songs. Native Tongue is a new one by Switchfoot. It's a great song. My three-year-old little granddaughter, Nora, even sings it. It's the best. Ending the third week here. Things to pho photograph from a car. That's the other thing I love is photography. I have a couple really nice DSLR cameras and lenses and I don't use them enough. But I do a lot of random wedding, senior photos, family photos, kind of as a hobby. Nope, they're not free. I still charge because of my time. But prefer nature photography and I just don't do it enough I need to so if I were going to be driving down the road and I want to take some pictures for my car what am I going to take pictures of wildlife scenic beauty to me everything scenic and beautiful the pretty skies clouds fascinate me and pretty sunsets I guess I could have wrote sun rises these lists the space is limited so I could easily probably add a dozen more items on each list so I just right away till I get to the bottom doesn't necessarily mean these are my favorite things I write as things pop into my head I don't put a lot of thought into it this page probably took me 15 minutes to glue everything on and write the lettering day 22 through 25 my ink is starting to run out of my pen here, so it's not as dark. I may have even changed to a different pen because it was running low. Successful trips entail good weather, less traffic, small crowds. I don't like traffic. I don't like when there's a lot of road construction. So if I can go on a road trip and traveling go smooth without a lot of stops, construction, or tons of trucks especially, it's it. my trip is successful. Destinations um, that I wish to go to, I've been to all of these except the City of Rocks. I've been to Glacier and I've been to Teton National Park. Um, it's just on my wish list I want to do again because it's been quite a few years. I also want to go to Yellowstone again. We used to go when I was a kid because I grew up on uh, that side of the state of Idaho. So it wasn't too far. Same, the Tetons is right next to Yellowstone. And Anyway, that's what I want to do. If I go here, probably go into Jackson Hole, Wyoming and just have fun. And here we are ending up, getting close. This is the end of the fourth week here. Added a few little doodle flowers around the printable flowers here. Sometimes I trace outline with my black pen the printables and other times I don't. Last three days of July. 
next month I plan to State Fair. We have the um, Western Idaho State Fair in Boise. CUNA Days was, now that it's August, we just had CUNA Days this last weekend. And we really want to go to Salmon Falls Creek because they have walleye fishing. There's only a couple places in Idaho that have walleye. My husband grew up as a kid in Minnesota, and so walleye fishing is big. And his mom lives on a lake in Minnesota, so we like to go walleye fishing when we're there. But because walleye are considered invasive species and they eat a lot of the other fish, there's only a few lakes in Idaho that have them because Idaho is known for its trout fishing. People come from all over the world to go fly fishing for trout in the rivers and some lakes here. And it because of we have such an influx of out-of-staters moving into the area, it seems like bass fishing is starting to be a big thing also. Um, so we want to go to Salmon Falls Creek, which is close to the Nevada border south of Twin Falls. But I hear they have an algae bloom right now, and it's not a good time to go, so we're thinking... We may even wait until mid-September to go here. Anyway, songs that remind me of age 16. Fleetwood Mac Dreams, love it. The disco era, Bee Gees, I was a teenager in the late 70s. Uh, the Bee Gees loved it, you know, the whole staying alive thing. Queen, Queen was super popular. ABBA was really popular back then also. And so those are my jams, a few of them. Hope you enjoyed my little walkthrough for July. Um, August, Corey over at the Reset Girl is putting the Listers Got a List on hold for a while. I'm not sure why, but I decided I'm still going to do it because I love listing and want to finish out my year. So I have pages for every month this year. So I went out and printed more sheets from a previous, probably July's, printed them, went into my Adobe PDF editor and just changed it up here so it still says Lester's Got a List Summer and just changed it just to say August. And I looked through a bunch of my old lists that I've done in years past. I believe this may have been from 2015 or 16. And got several... Uh, different prompts and just made my own list for August so I went into Photoshop pulled in a digital scrapbook paper background and then just typed up my 31 days for August list printed it out on sticky sticker paper and cut them out and put them on my sheets so this is what my sheets look like it was kind of a rainbow pages that went down so the colors are a little bit different so I've got my prompts I put all of my prompts in here first then I add stickers so I've done the first four days of August and this is what my next week or this week will be like so it's all decorated before I do my handwriting so if you do any kind of listing I'd love to see your lists uh let me know what your Instagram account is. Uh, a lot of you may follow me. Mine is Creative Mish over on Instagram. So I share a lot of my little artsy things on there. Um, share with me. I'd love to watch and see what you're creating. I will be posting my August and a few other things all month. And then at the end of August, I'll do a walkthrough again. Enjoy your summer. It's getting close to being done with. Thanks. Bye.